Hello everyone, welcome to a new segment I would like to call Nostalgic Videos. This is where I'll be taking old films that I grew up with and I will be reviewing them. Ones that made my childhood and ones that destroyed it without my knowledge. <sighs> Video game console controller in one hand, cheer one in the other. What can make a man happier, right? <laughs> oh yeah, the love and affection of a woman. I digress. So, what am I here to talk about today? Well. If you all know me, either a fan on YouTube or friends, you would know that I love Power Rangers. So much that I am a 21-year-old man and will not be ashamed to go into the store and buying the newest Morph or Megazord. Yeah. Anyway, whoa. Anyway, um, but yes, I am a fan of Power Rangers. I reviewed Power, a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. I have reviewed two Power Rangers Megazords. What will I be reviewing today? Something that says shift in the turbo? That's right, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. I digress. So, the, the thing about Power Rangers Turbo, it's, it's right after Zeo, but instead of having an episode explaining stuff, this movie does absolutely not that. No. So the beginning of the film starts with a with a with a certain scroll. Now there has been movies that have done this before. In fact, the first Power Rangers movie did this. I'm just going to give you a quick sample of what it's like. Tell me if this sounds familiar, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they do the scroll thing. It's like Star Wars, except when you're listening to this one. Now, what was it Link Hara and Nostalgia Critic and Spoonie said when they were watching this, watching this text from Alone in the Dark? Hmm, this is what my mindset went to. Wrong button. Yeah. Okay. So, the film starts with explaining about this guy named Largo and how he has, like, the key to open to an interdimensional gateway and we get the mention of our villain, Divatox, who wants to marry a demon so she can take over the world. She's an intergalactic pirate. Okay, here's the thing. Pirates don't want to rule the world. Pirates just want to get on a ship, pillage, rob, Murder, steal, pillage, that kind of thing. When does a pirate ever say, hey, you know what? I have all the money in the galaxy. I have all the money in the world. You know what's better? Taking over the world. Anyways, so he's on, and apparently he cannot survive sun rays for too long. Yet he transports to Earth. Okay, here's my thing. If he cannot survive on Earth for very long with the heat, um, why not just transport to the command center? Can people only be transported to command center if Zordon's like, hey, let's transport these people to the command center? It's not like they can go, oh man, I would love to go to the command center, but I can't unless I'm invited. So yes, he transports down to Earth and he's found my monkeys. He outruns Divatox's men and we come across Divatox. Now, the very first thing we notice about Divatox is her outfit doesn't exactly scream appropriate. Because the very first thing you notice when you look at her outfit is her chest. Oh boy. Okay, but anyway, so... Divatox is like, I want to marry this demon so I can become powerful and rule the world, be the best pirate, and yada yada yada. She has her second henchman, Rygog, her nephew, Elgar. Oh, Elgar. I digress. So, we learn that the Power Rangers are wanting to do another charity thing, which that's a multiple thing in Power Rangers. Of course, I think they stopped after space. Yeah, after space, they stopped. Actually, no, after Turbo, they stopped. But I digress. Anyway, so, 
they were learning for a tournament, and Rocky's like, hey, you know what? Maybe we're not trying hard enough. Hard enough. The coach is like, you're trying too hard. You're trying too hard. He does a spin kick and flies out of the ring and lands on his back. So, uh... Kat and Tanya, who are on a bus with this new kid, Justin, who I have no idea who he is. They never explain him. They just go, boom, Justin. Yeah. Kimberly's not in this movie. Of course, though, if you guys have watched the Power Rangers series, you would know that. So, they're, like, singing, row, row, row your bow gently down the stream. Justin's like, oh, I'm so upset. You want to talk about it? Well, my dad's not around. Uh, I went on this trip, and, and, yeah, I'm upset and depressed. Oh, okay. Well, we're almost there. It's okay. Row, 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 you bow, you dance, stream. But anyway, when they find out that Rocky's back has been hurt, all the kids are like, Rocky, Rocky! And Justin is like, it's like he's known him. It's like, what? But the thing is, they never touch on how Justin knows Rocky. Like, they never explain how he knows the Power Rangers. Now, if Justin was Rocky's younger brother, that would make sense. But they don't. So anyways, they go to the hospital and Justin goes there first, but the Power Rangers come in before, like, you know, Tommy, Tanya, Cat, Adam, whatever. At, Justin hides under the bed and they get called by Zordon to come help him with Largo. So they teleport and Justin's like, you guys are the Power Rangers? What the fuck? So yes, they're at the command center. Oh, and by the way, it's not no longer called the command center. It is called the power chamber. Now, for those who don't know, the reason why it was called the power chamber was not because the very last episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Zed sent Goldar and Rita with a bomb to pick up the Zeo Crystal. Basically, pick up Zeo Crystal, command center goes boom. They were building an extra command center, otherwise known as the power chamber, just in case. Now, except in this power chamber in Zeo, the power chamber had not their colors, but their suits. It had the old ranger suits, and one tube had the ranger weapons. This time, it's just their colors. For some reason, I don't know why. But, so, they basically, they pick up Go after this long exploitation of Tommy and Cat going to pick him up in the rainforest. Cat falls off a mountain and does the whole Z-Ranger 1 pink thing and tries to morph. She morphs halfway, lands into the water. And for some reason, it shortens out the Zeo powers. I don't know. So... We get some, and then we get some stuff with the, with Bulk and Skull. Uh, at the end of Power Rangers Zeo, they decide to go to France. But then in this one, apparently they went back with Detective Stone, and Stone's like, "Hey, I got us, a, I got us the job back on the Force." Blah 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 blah. Same slap shit with Bulk and Skull. Everything. Diva talks is like, "I need two human sacrifices for my future fiance." Okay. So then uh, when they're having Lara go on the table and he's going all like, hala, hala, hala. apparently it's a transmission from Divatox. She's like, I know you can hear me. Listen well. I need Lara go to open the portal, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I'm going, I'm going to kidnap his wife and child till he does it. Lara goes like, okay, okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just don't hurt my family, yada, 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 stuff like that. So then they find out that they got the two human sacrifices, Jason and Kimberly. And apparently the reason why they're coming back is they're coming to surprise everybody. And apparently Justin is helping with a shelter or he's part of a shelter. They never explain. It's never explained. It's some cherry crap. So uh, that's why they're here. They get picked up underwater. Of course, so here's a question. Why were they going scuba diving in the first place? Were they just going scuba diving for fun? I don't know. They don't introduce that. It's just like, hey, did you, know that, uh, did you know that Jason and Kimberly are scuba diving? Scuba diving? Okay, we can get them. And by the way, Divatox lives in a submarine. So pick them up, whatever, they make a deal. Give us Lara go, we'll give you your friends. Ha, they tricked, they tricked them, ha, ha, ha. So then they're like, so like then we see that Divatox is having to go through this triangle and Zordon's like, even the Zords will not be able to get through this. We will need to make new powers and new Zords. Okay. That is fine. If you need to make new powers, need to make new Zords, that's fine. But here's here here's a, a certain question that I asked myself in that I that I was asking when I was watching this that when I was watching this movie. Hold on, just just one second. Uh, yeah, this was a question I asked. What happened to the Zeo powers? Yeah, they never explain what happened to the Zeo powers, you know. Whoosh, 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 zero to five, red. Whoosh, gold Ranger power. Whoosh, whoosh, 
Yeah, they never explain what happened to the Zeo powers, the Zeo crystal, the Zeo zords, the Super Zeo zords, the Red Battle Zord, the Battle Wheel, the Run Wheel, the whatever, the whatever. They never explain what happened to the Zeo crystal or the Zeo zords. So we get a scene where it shows like apparently the Rangers are making their new zords, and. So Zordon's like, this is what your Zord is called. This is what your Zord is called. Okay, here's my question. If they're creating the Zords, why would they not know what it's called if it's to their exact design? Fake! I mean, okay, if they're making the Zords, why wouldn't they know what they look like or what their name is? I mean, it's like when Peter Parker developed the web shooters. It'd be like, hey, I developed these things. I don't know what these things are called. And then all of a sudden, uh, Lizard would be like, Peter Parker, these are your web shooters. Why? why? Why wouldn't they know what their zords are called or named when they made them themselves? Oh, and you know something that's hardly in this movie? Hardly any fighting and only two morphing scenes. Well, technically one. When they, how they get their powers, they slap their hands on the table and put their hand over a light thingy, and boom. Turbo Rangers. It's not like the ceremony of how they got the Zeo powers or how they got the ninja powers. Because in the Zeo powers, they got their new powers, and, you know, they, they were given the morphers, and they had to test them out. Ninja powers, they had to go through a ceremony about strength and the width and the stealthiness of the ninja, stuff like that. So basically, yeah, the morphing scene is off screen, and then when they go, shift into turbo. They're in their Zords driving to the boat. And Zordon was like, there is a ship that has been in exile for years. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you're telling me, Zordon, that there has been a ship exiled for years in plain sight in Angel Grove. How is, how, how is that possible? How could you not have people sneak on that ship and steal it. Well, I mean, it was out in the middle of the ocean, but that's not the point. So, they're like, what happened to the blue power? What, what about the blue power? Uh, it'll stay here for now, blah, 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 blah. So then, they are at the dock looking at the ship, and then we get a scene of Zordon talking to the new Blue Ranger, and he's like, you need a test course in driving, blah, 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 blah. So then, all of a sudden, the, the Storm Blaster shows up. There's Storm, uh, there's Storm Blaster, Desert Thunder, Dormstone, or door star or whatever wind chaser and red lightning um all of a sudden storm blaster shows up justin is the new blue ranger okay now i can understand what they're what they're doing with this in one of the original sentais the white ranger was actually a little boy he grew up into adult size. I can see where they got that from. But the thing is, what makes him able to be the Blue Ranger? You had so many other choices. You had Tommy's brother. Actually, I think that's it. Uh, but I digress. They had Tommy's brother. He could have been the Blue Ranger easily. Now, once again, if they had mentioned that Rocky, that Justin was Rocky's younger brother, they'd be like, hey... He is the next of kin. Let's give him the powers. That would make much more sense and go and say, hey, they know they know him. So let's make them Power Rangers. Of course, all that is along like with a lot of the whoever ends up, whoever the Rangers end up revealing themselves to, those people eventually end up becoming Power Rangers, except Tommy's brother. For some reason, he wasn't made a Power Ranger. But anyway, so they get in the cars and drive off. And then they reach the ship. Diva talks is like, uh, blah, blah, stuff I don't care about. She has a pet eel. She cuts off Elgar, Elgar's hand for some reason, because he's annoying. Elgar is pretty annoying. So, basically, a lot of dialogue stuff between, like, how Justin's, like, excited to be a Power Ranger. Diva talks shoots these little egg thingies just to make sure that like they're just to shoot at the power rangers to stop them but of course they just they defeat them justin's all like Hoo -yah! of course though when i seen this as a kid i was like oh dude a kid who's my age beating up monsters <laughs> why isn't this happening to me i wish it would but um 
So yes, Justin and all them are fighting these egg creatures, and they kick them off the boat, and then we get a bunch of um, we get a bunch of bad jokes. But there was one joke I laughed at when Divatox cuts off Elgar's hand, Rygog, her second in command, he's like, "Well, why don't you do something? I can't do anything, but I can lend you a hand." Uh -huh -huh. That's about as funny as a Deadpool joke. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, I'll go get it. So. Yeah, and eventually we find out that Kimberly and Jason are the prisoners, but they kidnap Oakland Skull as well. So they decide, hey, we're going to go through this triangle. Jason's like, hey, why don't we take the door off so we can swim through? And Kimberly's like, wouldn't that crush us? Why Wouldn't the water pressure, like, you know, crush us and, you know, we would die? And Jason's like, yeah, when we get to, uh, like, uh, we're at 400 right now. When we get to 100, you know, it'll be a lot safer, blah, 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 blah. So that happens. Divatox shoots torpedoes at the ship because it's following them. And um, it's following them. They can't be detected because the turbo powers, which, again, what makes these? They're just cars. They're just cars. Zordon's like, there are extraordinary cars. No, they're just cars. Extraordinary? The Dino Zords, Ninja Zords, Shogun Zords, Zeo Zords, Super Zeo Zords. Those are extraordinary Zords. These are just cars that for some reason become the most powerful Megazord of all time, which to be honest, not really. No. Because it gets destroyed in the middle of the season. Of course, so that was a pretty big, impactful thing. But they said that it is the most powerful Megazord to ever be constructed. So, does that mean the Space Zords and everything else after that were just nothing compared to the Turbo Zords? I mean, who knew? So... <sighs> They basically, Jason and Bulk and Skull and Kimberly escape, and Jason, Jason has to go back because Divatox is like, we're taking on water, we're sinking, yes, we're sinking, you're in a submarine, underwater, of course, so they did open the hatch, but anyway, so Divatox is like, oh, I gotta get rid of the Power Rangers, now, she does do something that all fans will enjoy, she calls up Rita, and she's like, Rita, look, it's Divatox, I'm having a little bit of trouble, I know you've been experienced with this. How do I get rid of the Power Rangers? The Power Rangers? If I knew that, you think I'd be lying here listening to this? My advice to you, Divatox, run! So, yeah, and Divatox is like, well, I just wasted my time. So Adam gets off the ship, and the torpedoes hit the, hit the ship as well, and Adam's like, no, no, no! But, of course, the Zords make it out. And then they make it to uh, this thing called... Uh, Lair no, Malagor. Malagor is the name of the fire demon that Divatox wants to marry. So they get to the temple and they find out that there's these people who like are his protectors and his worshippers. They find Kimberly and they find Balkan Skull. Of course, well, Balkan Skull's memories have been erased and they think they are from France. So hey, that's the closest thing from France they're ever gonna get. <laughs> so yeah, then all of a sudden, like they get the wizard to use his magic to um basically show hey. I'm marrying this demon, and you guys are in my way, and I have a little tiny mixture between a Ewok and a Gremlin. The love child of an Ewok and a Gremlin. And so then they're like, Malagor, Malagor, we bow, we bow to his wife, we bow to his wife, we bow to his wife. And so then all of a sudden, like, Adam finds them, and they're like, all right, guys, uh, Malagor, uh, Larigo's dying because the sun stuff. And Jason's, like, in a black outfit. I don't know who drags around their prisoners in, like, a black hood. That even makes him more awesome than he already was. Of course, it's Jason, so who know, Who cares? Um, so, all of a sudden, like, they go shift into turbo, and Justin goes the other way, and then, like, they do the whole... Eh, 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 eh. I don't remember the sequence. All I remember is... That's it. So, Justin morphs, and he grows big. That's how, that's what happens. He morphs, he becomes an adult. Like in the, like in the original Sentai, where the White Ranger came from. The White Ranger was a child, morph became an adult. So, yeah. And, like, in the show, when they morph, they changed it when they changed the cast. Instead of, like, going, Desert Thunder, Turbo Power, and, like, it taking a long time, the morphing sequence just went to, like that. That's just, I, I, it might have been the longest morphing sequence, who knows. But, um, 
so then all of a sudden they find the cave and then like we get some really we get action between we get like the fights between the rangers and diva toxis pronotrons and stuff like that and um uh diva tox has jason and kimberly chained up to get thrown into the lava to become evil it happens and then uh the little tiny ewoks uh 